Hello people and welcome to this new class in where we are going to see how to link text boxes. On the screen you can see a document about a book I am working on right now. It is still in working process and for example on these pages about the chronology of the author we can see how we find these lines called text threads which are linking different text boxes, right? This kind of mechanism will allow our text to flow from one text box to another. So it is something super, super powerful in InDesign. How does it work? To make a better explanation, I've opened a new document and I've created few pages, just five. I will focus on page number one. I will hit the text tool and I will create a box, a small one. At this stage, I will not even fulfill the box with the text. I will leave it empty and I will create another box and a third one down here. Then selection tool. We have three text boxes, all of them totally empty, right? Once I select the first one, we can find two different little boxes related with the text flow. One in the upper left corner, this one, and another one in the lower right corner, this one. The first one is gonna allow us to import text and the second one is gonna allow us to export text. So let's use it with text. I go inside the text box, right click, fill with placeholder text. The new text is fitting the box. It means that we don't have extra text, but if I use the selection tool and I make the box shorter, then in the out port, we can see how this red plus sign pops up, giving us the warning about that extra text hidden in this text box. If we wanna make that text to flow, we can click on the plus sign, then this text icon is charged in our mouse, and when we hover over the next text box, the icon becomes a kind of chain because we are gonna link both text boxes. So another click and here we are. That extra text is now inside the second text box. And these both guys, these both text boxes, the first one and the second one are already linked. In case that we want to watch that text thread graphically, something that I really encourage you to do, you should go over view extras, show text threads, shortcut, control or command, alt, y. And here we are. This text thread or text link is saying to us that those guys are connected, are linked. So the text is gonna flow between each other. If I make this first box bigger, the text is fitting the new size and then maybe there is no need for more space as it is happening right now and the second text box is now empty, right? So I will make this guy super big. I will place myself here, right click, fill with placeholder text, then selection tool. I select my first box and I make it shorter again. And then I have a lot of extra text ready to play with. That extra text flows to the second text box and then the warning is again there, right? Time to connect the second text box with the third one. One click, hidden text is charged. When I hover over the text box, the chain icon appears. Another click and here we are. Now the three boxes are linked and text is flowing from the first one to the third one. And still we have some extra text at the end of the third text box. Now imagine that we want to know the length of that extra text. How we can do it easily? Well, then we should go over edit and click edit in story editor. Shortcut, control or command Y. Immediately this window pops up. We can adjust the size of this window. But the thing here is that we have all the text together and we find this red line on the left side. That means extra text. So all of this is hidden. This is the part hidden. Once we know this, which can be handy sometimes, I will close it and let's see how we can undo this link between the text boxes. We have been working with the out port little box, right? But we have another one. We have the import little box. So if I hit selection tool and I click on this import little box, one click on here, then I hover over the different text boxes. You can see how the chain is broken. I zoom out. Then as you can imagine, it means that we are going to break the link. One click on here 
and the last text thread is already gone. Our text goes back, flows back to the second text box and now when I hit and I select this second box we cannot see longer that thread text, right? Let's do it again. I select the second text box, then I go over the import little box, one click, and then second click can be either on this second text box or on the first one. The result is the same. We are breaking the thread. Consequently, text is flowing back and here we are, like in the beginning. And before finishing this class, let's see another maneuver we can do using this tool and I will let the text flow through all the boxes. Now look because for example between 1 and 2 I can create another text box easily. I click the out port in box number 1 and then I click and drag and I create another box in the middle. And look, the text is flowing from 1 to the new 2, from the new 2 to the third one till the fourth. I can do the same using the in port of any text box. For example, the last one. I click on here and then I click and drag and I create another box in the middle. New box has been created, text is flowing and everything is simple and easy to control. In case that I don't like, for example, this last box, I select it, I delete it and the threads are telling me the connection between the boxes. And I could do the same with this another one I created just now in the middle. So time to say goodbye now. And I hope to see you in the next class.